Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. So following on from Harper's Ferry, we next need to investigate this area just north of the Valley Galleria. So we're going to push on there now. The search radius isn't too major. And if you just head, I headed towards the center of it. I started hearing hardball here. So there's two dead bodies beside hardball. That's pretty much it. There's uh, Courtney here has a note. It's there when you want to read it. And then we need to talk to Hardball. You need to survive. I have a duty to fulfill. Fair trade, I'd say. Hmm. Initial readings indicate non-hostile. Correct. As a member of the Free States and protector of Harper's Ferry, I hereby conscript you into service. I am wounded to protect. And re-establishing communications with Duncan McCann is final. I have reason to believe their party was ambushed and a distress beacon deployed. But the signal is too weak to find. Your duty is to find a signal booster. Possible search locations include Harper's Ferry or the Valley Galleria Electronic Store. Once you've acquired the booster, proceed to the Survival Training Center and call down a cargo bot using this passcode. Attach the booster, release the cargo bot, and wait for the distress signal ping to reach your pit boy. Follow the ping, find the party. Dismissed! Alright, it seems simple enough, and we have two different options. We could go back to Harper's Ferry, but although I've run past this uh, electronic store before, I've never been inside, so that's the way I chose to go. Now, as soon as I went inside, I could see it was relatively close to me. There's a few scorched roaming in here, but nothing... I was going to say nothing major, really nothing at all. I think I encountered two. I didn't exactly explore the place for the purposes of doing this mission. I just wanted to get in and find this signal booster. Did a little bit of exploring, of course, in the two adjacent rooms, because I happened to be passing anyway. So it's clearly in over here, or the next one. Thing is you hit, although there's not that many things in here, you can't, look at that, they just come out of nowhere. You can just hear them, oh, pop. You can just hear them. It can be very disorientating. So we come around here, and voila, here is uh, Le Signal Booster. Fantastic. So tracking unknowns updates, and we need to summon a cargo bot. So the cargo bot is located at Camp Venture. So I'm going to make my way over to Camp Venture. It's uh, slow going here because I'm a little over encumbered. So there's the command center to my right. And we're just going to access this stairwell here. Our stairs. And just keep climbing them. Our location is the console directly ahead. So we'll use the terminal. Nothing that's going to shoot at me. And we're gonna to go to cargo bot supplies. So we have a cargo bot summoned. Now we wait. Doesn't take too long, thankfully, for the cargo bot to make its way here. You can already hear it coming in the distance. I can also hear Scorched. I'm still showing his hidden, so he must be shooting the cargo bot. I do not like that at all. We must deal with this immediately. Switch over to a sniper scope. One more. I guess one more again. One more part two. There we go. And our cargo bot has arrived. So we go up and we attach the signal booster. And now we have to wait for it to depart. Meanwhile, tracking unknowns is updating, saying wait for the signal and completed. Track the distress beacon to its source. All right, that's the next part. Just deal with my inventory here. The source is north. So if you access your map, you'll see a nice big search radius. Quite substantial actually considering how dense the area is. So I'm gonna make my way up there. I'm 
when I did, I came across this pylon, and right at the bottom of the pylon is Randy. So, I'm just gonna show you exactly where I am here, so you don't have to mess around with the signal booster, or just the signal indicator thingy, Bob. So there's Haven's Church, I'm just directly south. Just come down and look for the pylon. He's at the base of the pylon. And we're gonna grab his hollow tape. Hey, Ella, it's Randy here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm done for on account of my, my leg being blown off. I wanted you to know you were right. We tracked them ghouls to Haven and Christ almighty, they were talking and, and, and hollering sure as you and me. I mean, we all heard them stories about talking ghouls. I just never thought I'd bear witness to them. And I ain't the only one. Kendall knew it, sure as I did. But Duncan, Duncan, he, he wouldn't let up. He didn't care they were begging to be left alone, but I did. But them creatures still got the mind God gave them. And who are we to take that away? Fair point. So eventually, this is going to update to investigate the area. Now, if you access your map, you'll see that the area is quite small. This is still, this was still a little frustrating for me. So turn left and head towards the bus. We're pretty much going to the next pylon, if that makes sense. And when you get to the bus, just kind of swing around and you see the pylon with the green. There he is. Wasn't too far at all. I just thought, felt that was the best way to show you rather than running in circles. She thinks she found the perfect hideout in some sewers under Dyer Camp. Yep, you heard that right. Sewers. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's a step down from just plain old swamp. But at this point, if it keeps Sarah safe, how bad can it be? Alright, so we get a hazmat suit, which way, we're going to need to enter the sewers, the because as she's saying, the radiation is intense. We also got an ID card to ID access card the sewers. So you could choose to wear that or not. I choose, I chose, oh, what is wrong with me? I chose not to. So make your way to the chemical plant. Uh, Dyer's chemical sewers is where we need to go. Dyer chemical sewers. And when you hear, I'm just gonna zoom out here. Just run towards the chemical plant. Now, you, as I said, you can choose to uh, use that radiation suit if you want. I just didn't need to. I was in power armor. It wasn't affecting me too much. So you notice I just turned slightly left there as I was approaching. And the pipe up ahead, you can see it's got a little uh, hole cut in it. Turn right and we can access via the ID card reader because we just picked up an ID card. When you're in, this can be a bit of a maze, so follow along. Go. Just turn left down here. And we're going to go in through the pipe here. Like so. Taking a lot of rads, but I'm not worried about it. We're hanging a left. Can't go that way, so we're going to keep going straight. And straight again up this little set of stairs here to get us out of the toxic water. Now we'll come up here and in the doorway at the top. Down this little set of stairs here. And there's our target, Lucy, Lucy Harwick. So that plays on for a bit, but you're pretty much done with the quest now. Get a few goodies, get some XP, get some caps. And as an added bonus, when you're done listening to this tape, yes, I realize I'm talking over it. I, I hope you come and enjoy it for yourself and listen to it. Um, this, was, this was quite an interesting story for sure. I'm going to let it play away there as I talk because there is a bonus optional second tape. If you're interested in what's going on on the first tape and you want to kind of get more insight into the two people who are shooting at each other, then I'm just going to grab this fan. I'm always uh, out for screws. So just come back up this little set of stairs to my left. And just around the corner, there's Duncan. Duncan has the other holotape. So you listen at that at your own leisure. 
If you liked the video, please do hit the like button and like the video if you found it of any use to you at all. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.